Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome also from my side. I hope uh, I will get your full concentration after this delicious lunch. It's not easy to start after the break, but uh, I have very interesting information for you and uh, I hope I will keep you awake. So I will introduce today the SETI study and give you the a summary of the main findings coming out of this study. Uh, the SET is the short form of sustainable emission testing and uh, the study is about how to improve the current periodic emission tests in Europe. And there are, there are different reasons for this study and I think one of the main is, and it's not only a problem in Europe, that around the world in all urban areas the pollutants exceed the limits constantly. The limits set in Europe by the European Commission as well as by the World Health Organization are exceeded permanently. And if you keep in mind that the European Environment Agency says that the fine particulate matter concentrations in 2011 are responsible for about 458,000 premature deaths. It's really unbelievable how many premature deaths we would, will have around the world just caused by pollutions uh, in urban areas. So another thing was uh, CETA published a study in 2011, it's the TEDDY study, and it was only about uh, laboratory tests, and we want to prove the coming outs, outs of this study in field tests, with large-scale field tests. Uh, a big problem is in Europe tempering and manipulation of emission systems, so we want to find solutions how to deal with tempering um, emission systems. And last but not least, we want to get more clearance about a formulation made in the PTI Directive 2014-45, which says if there is an assessment of equivalence, you do not need to do a tailpipe emission test anymore. You only can do emission tests by reading the OBD. But there is no definition which says what is meant by an equivalent. So these are the main reasons for the SET study. And what we want to do is we want to improve the test procedures to detect the so-called gross polluters. And we speak about gross polluters if a vehicle emits 10, 50 or even 100 times more pollutants than allowed. So the periodic emission test, which is done million times in, uh, per year in Europe, should detect these, should be able to detect these gross polluters. And we want to have a short-term reduction of the pollutants, especially for urban areas. And if you keep in mind that the European Commission said that about 5 to 7 percent of these gross polluters, of these uh, uh, vehicles, are responsible for 25 to 35 percent of all pollu pollutants coming, uh, uh, caused by the traffic. So then it is very important if you catch these 5 to 7 percent of gross polluters during the periodic emission test, you can avoid a lot of pollutants in a short-term uh, perspective. So the participating PTI test centers in Europe, you can see on this slide, six countries around Europe were participating. Uh, you can see Spain, France, Germany, Netherlands, and Sweden. And in total, we made tests with over 3,000 vehicles most of them Euro 4 and Euro 5 vehicles, and about half of these vehicles were diesel vehicles and the other half were petrol vehicles. And the test we did was always a combination, first an OBD reading, so we analyzed the diagnostic trouble codes, if set, and we always did, in addition, a tailpipe test, and the tailpipe test was for petrol vehicles, the CO concentration at high idle, uh, and the CO volume percent. And for petrol vehicle, we did this free acceleration test and measured the so-called K value. And just get in, let me get into the first findings coming out of this study. We had a look at the limits. And if you have a look at this slide, you can see, and this is about petrol vehicles, that most of the tested vehicles had a CO value 
far below 0 0.05. Most of them only emit uh, 0 0.01, almost nothing. So over 90% of all vehicles are very, very clean. But you have these about 10% of vehicles emitting much more CO than they should. And the current limit in Europe is 0.2%. Uh, and uh, if you see this slide, it would be easy to reduce the current thresholds, for example, Europe, uh, 0.2 down to 0.1, and you will catch an additional uh, about 4% of these gross polluters.